Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Trumbly, assistant editor here at Flare, and today I'm here with former bachelorette and just all-around hilarious person, Caitlin Bristow. I've got Swedish berries <laughs> in my teeth. So welcome, Caitlin. Thank you. And welcome to our slumber party. This is amazing. We've got yeah. rosé. I'm happy. Awesome. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So as everyone knows, we're super obsessed with everything Bachelor here at Flare HQ. We have our um, Bachelor correspondent, Charlene Joint, who writes us weekly yes, recaps. And you can check out our Bachelor Nation hub at um, flare.com slash the morning after. Have you seen it? Oh, okay, well, we'll check it out after. What is it? It's our Bachelor Nation, like, all the time, Bachelor Hub. Oh, maybe Just I have from Charlene. It. Yeah, probably. We'll okay, check yeah. it out after. Yeah. So today we're going to get into all the classic slumber party activities. We're going to oh do some gossiping, have some Bachelor Girl talk, oh boy. and we have a go-to slumber party game that we're going to be playing a little bit later. Okay. That's what the rosé is for, for anyone wondering why we're drinking at 9.30 in the morning. Don't ask questions. <laughs> it's totally okay. Um, but first, we have to talk about this insanely com comfy mattress that we're sitting on. I know. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Bloom, Sleep Country Canada's new mattress in a box, and yes. why you partnered with them. Um, I, it was an easy partnership on my end. I'm like, anything that has to do with sleeping and being comfortable, I'm all about it. So um, yeah, it's the new launch of Bloom, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, Sleep Country. It is just super convenient. It comes in a box. I feel like even just being in Toronto, I'm like, what? Do you really want to lug around a huge mattress into your new apartment? Yeah, exactly. So it's about millennials and, and convenience and comfort. And as you said before we were rolling, it's a comfortable mattress. It's honestly so comfortable, you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was an easy partnership for me to be a part of. Awesome. So do you and Sean have this mattress at your house? We do. <laughs> really? Yes. We've been awesome. sleeping on it for a few weeks now, yeah. And That's awesome. I was saying earlier that he didn't no, he like, like I was like, do you need a soft mattress? Do you want a hard one? He's like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. And now that he has this one, he's like, oh, this is this what is I need. This is the best. <laughs> yeah. So I heard that you guys are moving to Vancouver for the summer. Is that right? Yeah, we want to, somewhere around Vancouver, we want to try and find a home, yeah. Awesome. You're going to bring this mattress in? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <of> course. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So today we are munching on some popcorn and Swedish berries at our slumber party. But what nice is your trip. favorite snack to eat in bed? Would you hate me if I said carrot sticks? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, I love popcorn in bed, but you love carrot sticks. I actually love po popcorn, but I try and like snack on veggies all the time. That's good. Um, but my, like, my, okay, my guilty pleasure would mm -hmm. probably be Cool Ranch chips. Oh, okay, amazing. Yeah. And like maybe some wine. Well, duh, that just goes without saying. I didn't even know I had to say it. Awesome. Okay, so switching gears a little bit, you are doing a podcast mm -hmm. now off the vine with Caitlin Bristow, yeah. which is the one of the highest performing uh, podcasts on iTunes right now, so that's yeah. amazing. Very um, So what made you decide to do a podcast, and was it something you kind of always wanted to do? Yes. I don't know why, but since I was little, I've wanted to do radio. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just love the idea of like sitting with a microphone and mm -hmm. like chit chatting. Um, and now I can like be my own boss and drink wine and talk awesome. about whatever I want. And wear pajamas to and work. And wear pajamas to work. Yeah, awesome. so it's glorious. I love doing it. I love hanging out with other people and, and finding, you know, even just powerful women to have on the show mm -hmm. to empower each other and, and make people laugh. Right. Yeah. So you've had some pretty awesome guests so far. You had um, your first episode, your hottie fiance, Sean B. Yeah, back off. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you had, um, on this week's episode, OG reality TV couple, yeah. um, Spencer and Heidi Pratt, yeah. which I loved. I just watched it or listened to it um, yesterday morning. They're so sweet, aren't they? Yeah, I was dying when he said he was going to, he would ride on top of the limo for yeah. his bachelorette entrance, which was really nice. funny. And he'd ghost ride the whip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so who else do you have lined up to guest star on the show? Um, well, since there's a lot going on with Bachelor in Paradise right now, I'm having Ashley I. Oh, the awesome. Cryer on. Yep, the crier. <laughs> um, and then I've got, have you ever heard of the podcast Lady Gang? Mm, no, I don't think They're so. You should listen. They're okay. really, really funny, empowering girls. I'm having them on my next one. And then I hope awesome. to just have like, like Amy Schumer would be nice. Yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be pretty one. sweet. Maybe Ellen DeGeneres. She was on The Bachelorette, so yeah, maybe she was you on can my get that to happen. Yeah. We're friends. Kind of. Texter. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we also heard that you might be recording a country album. Can you talk about that at all? Yes. I've got three. No, I've got four songs written. I've got three recorded. Um, I feel like everyone and their dog in Nashville like writes songs and sings. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. it's just something that I've always loved to do since I was little. I've done musical theater my whole life. So awesome. I'm like, I'm in the right place. Might as well write a country album. Yeah, See totally. And is country like something that you listen to a lot? Always. Or? Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Great. 
Um, definitely can't wait for that. Thank you. Um, so, talking about Sean again. Yes. You guys just celebrated your two-year engagement in yeah. May, so congratulations. Thank That's you. amazing. Yeah. Um, you're probably sick of this question, but when what is, is your wedding? plan for the future? <laughs> and yes, when is the wedding? Um, yeah, we have no idea. Okay. <laughs> we need to come up with a better answer. I just feel like we're, I'm like, yeah, we will. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we just like took off and got married one time and just didn't tell anybody. Yeah, <laughs> just like kind of winging it. Yeah, but yeah, no no plans. Okay, yeah. awesome. I kind of like we just that. Bought, <laughs> we just bought a house. Which right, that's like the first step. You have Doodle, your dog. Yeah. Doodle is the dog. Yes, Doodle is the dog. <laughs> um, so I'm not just saying this because we're on Facebook Live or anything, but you guys are actually like my favorite Bachelor couple, oh, like always you. talking. Thank you so much. Um, so obviously the numbers are kind of against Bachelor couples mm -hmm. in terms of like a success rate, um, but the Bachelorette ladies have been doing pretty well with their guys lately. Yeah. So why do you think they're more successful than Bachelors in terms of making the relationship last? Um, if you want my honest mm -hmm. opinion, I think it's easier for guys to move on okay. than it is for girls. Right. Is my basic answer. Like I okay. I just feel like when the guys are the bachelor and they come off the show and they get all the attention and they've been with the other women, I mm -hmm. feel like it's really hard to as a woman, I would find it difficult to move forward. Right. Where guys are a little bit better at letting it go. Okay, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Solid answer. That's my theory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but Yeah. Um yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. So, what's three words that you would use to describe your relationship with Sean? <laughs> or as many words as you wish. <laughs> Entertaining. Okay. Special. Mm, cute. Um, and active. Yeah, <laughs> I totally. I've more active in my life. Because <laughs> he's doing Iron Man oh, now, yeah. right? Yes. So, you're like going to the gym too with him? Yeah. Or? Well, no, I'm not keeping up with him by okay. any means, but I hang at the gym. <laughs> Actually, you know, sometimes I just have coffee in the Jeep while he's in the gym. Really? <laughs> yes. You, like, get there and you're like, mm, not feeling it. I'm like, I'm like going for a quick 20. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So, okay, we can't talk about you and Sean without talking about Rick and Donna. Of course. So, for those of you who don't know who Rick and Donna Shame are, on you. why don't you explain it to them? Rick and Donna are characters that we've come up with and it's when you use the face swap mm -hmm. on Snapchat, which is gone. Yeah, but not how do you guys do that? Account. Oh, amazing. I got to keep it. That's just awesome. For Rick that's the power <laughs> that Rick and Donna have, you know? Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So it's their face swap, and Donna doesn't speak. It's my face on Sean. And Rick speaks a lot, talks a lot, and he has a lot to say. And he's, I just picture him like a little small town, like beer drinking. Okay. Degenerate. Right. Yeah. So how did this whole storyline come up and like where did you get the inspiration for Rick's voice? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's my drinking voice. Okay. That if I've had a couple cocktails, I'll like start talking like this. And so I had a couple cocktails and we mm -hmm. did the face swap and we thought it was hilarious and I just started talking like that. And I'm like, I look like a Rick. <laughs> and then it just kind of all went from there. Right, awesome. Yeah. So, can you just say a quick thing in Rick's voice for anyone who hasn't oh, man, heard it's it so before? It's so hard to do it when I'm not in character, like I can't yeah, see the face. Yeah, you like have face. to see the face. What do you want me to say? Just be like, this mattress is amazing. Well, you know, this mattress is pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you guys, you heard it here, Rick. Rick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People who don't know are like, like what is happening is at the slumber party? Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's talk about The Bachelorette now because okay. you're watching the season yeah. and it's the first time you've watched since your season, right? Yeah, I was kind of in and out of JoJo's because mm -hmm. I was okay. trying to be supportive of the next Bachelorette after me, but it gave me so much anxiety. Why did it give you anxiety? Just because I'm like, I just went through all that and your mind can't even like go there of what just happened to you. Right. And it's like, it's like so crazy that your brain can't even access those feelings. Right. Yeah. Um, so, what are you thinking of the season so far, and what do you think of Rachel? Rachel's great. I think she's doing such a good job. She's very cutthroat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, ruthless. <laughs> yeah, she's, which is good. I wish I, I was it. allowed to be more ruthless on my season. Yeah. I was a little bit, but I had to, I had to be kind of nice, I guess. Oh. Um, but otherwise, the guys are very entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just, I just want to see, like, I'm, like, over the craziness. I'm like, I just want to get to the love now. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah we'll get So, there. yeah, soon, hopefully. We'll um, not this week, because it was canceled, but. I know. <laughs> um, have you ever met Rachel or talked to her, or? No. No? Hey, wait, no. I reached out and said she could talk to me if she <gasps> needed anything, but I don't know if that message got delivered. Okay. 
Rachel. Hmm, how I'm rude. Not right now, but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she is. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yes, I would like to talk to her. I'd love to know how her experience Yeah. Was. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So watching Rachel's first episode, you said that you weren't watching because it brought you some anxiety. Yeah. So did it bring you anxiety or maybe did it bring you some happy memories? Yes, it actually brought okay. me happy memories. Sean and I watched it together and we were kind of like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Remember this? Remember this? And, and our Aww. night one was so special together that we were like, yeah. okay, this is good. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And no anxiety. No, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> a little anxiety. <laughs> just nerves coming back? Yeah. Okay. It's just you kind of start reliving everything, and you're like, oh my gosh, that was right. my life. Yeah, you're like, I was so nervous in this moment. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. So we have to, have to, have to talk about Waboom, yes. because you have said that you love Waboom, and... I don't know if I love him. Okay. I love watching him on TV. So what, what do you like He's about him? He's just such a, like, train wreck. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> but like he also loves that and he went on there knowing he was going to be yeah but to me I'm like he's not his, it's not like what boom is going to take off as a career for him or yeah anything. that's why True. it's funny too because I'm like you think you're going on to build your brand as what boom mm -hmm. you're in for a, a treat True. um so it was just funny because his his commentary or like things that he was saying I'm yeah. like it was just so funny because it was so outrageous like yeah. the banana thing that was so I weird. That. I watched it so many times. It's hilarious. Yeah, same. Oh because my gosh. I'm like, is he serious or is he joking? I love the fact though that Rachel was just concerned. Did he finish the banana though? Yeah. <laughs> it's like because that's the most important part. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um. So and you said you would get a Waboom T-shirt. Maybe. Absolutely. You can get I'll one try of and help him support his brand. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's. Good. I don't think it's going to take off. But yeah. I'll buy one. Do what you can. Yeah. <laughs> um. So most importantly, what is who or who is your top pick for Rachel? Ah, uh, it's so hard because I think I know, I think I have a good judge of character okay. and then I read something online, which I shouldn't do, mm -hmm. and then you can't believe what you read online. <laughs> I know. So right now, I don't even know. No. <laughs> I don't have a top pick for Not her yet. Not Peter. Peter is my love. I love uh, Peter. Yes, I hope he wins. He's getting such a great edit. Yeah, so, totally. <laughs> and they play the romantic music when he's around, so you're mm -hmm. still like just yeah, I, I like Peter, but I don't know if he's for her. Okay, he's maybe a bit boring, but we'll see. <laughs> you know what? I just called Ben boring by accident. Oh no! And I didn't mean it. I meant he's like too nice for TV. Not Ben boring. Higgins. Yeah, <laughs> you're not boring, Ben. Boring Ben. <laughs> no, no, he's just too nice. <laughs> um, so have you been like watching or reading into any of the spoilers or anything? No. Or are you just totally watching Blind this season? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, a couple people have tried to ruin it for me, but I, I keep hearing different things, so I'm like, okay, I still don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to spoil I it. I never like to look. It just no. ruins everything. Yeah. yeah. So are you in a bachelor pool with any friends or anything? No, I haven't gone no, that not doing far. that. <laughs> We're pretty intense here at Flair. We have That's a okay. That's Flair great. pool going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wish I could get into it that much again. Yeah, yeah. maybe one day. Yeah, we will get there. So, okay. So now that we have had our Bachelor at Girl Talk, we're going to get into the drinking game. Um, it's like the most, <laughs> finally, <I've been> waiting. <laughs> just like they're taunting Staring us. <laughs> so it's like the most classic slumber party game ever. Never okay. have I ever. Okay. Oh the only rule is you have to drink anytime you've done whatever I'm saying. Okay. But to make it fair, I'm going to drink with you. Okay. So, okay. And my feet are falling asleep. Fair warning. Oh, I'm no. wearing shorts just under like here, so around. we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, okay. Ready? Yes. Never have I ever cried in the Bachelor Mansion. <laughs> You're going to drink with me even though yeah. you haven't? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be nice and do it with you. In fact, I did last a very long time without it there. Uh, hey, wait! I don't know if I did cry in the mansion. Oh, no! Take the drink back. <laughs> I think you I never actually cried? made it out. Really? I'm oh, I guess because sure. you're not there for that long. You go other We were there for quite places. a while, but it took a while to crack me. Okay, and then you're just like crying nonstop after that. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, so never have I ever had an ITM that I regret. Hmm. Yeah, I think. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, yeah, I definitely. Okay. Yeah, ones where I'm just like hyperventilating. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never Is there one that sticks out in your mind at all? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It was after I accidentally told Sean I loved him off camera, oh, and no. you are not allowed to do yeah. that because you're supposed to save it for that beautiful moment. Yeah, that's like number one it. rule. Yeah, <laughs> I got yelled at, and I was just like sobbing in the ITM room, like, 
I couldn't even breathe. I had, like, oh snot coming out of my nose. It was really cute. So they didn't air that? No, they did. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, how rude, Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> they made it look like I was crying about something else. But yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, okay, never have I ever, I'm also guilty for this, drank wine in bed. Duh. Duh. We already, we already talked already about know. it. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, it's, like, one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, same. Okay, so never have I ever applied or wanted to apply for a non-batch reality show. Sorry. Uh, no. No? I have never. I heard... My girlfriend tried to send in a video of me to Big Brother. Oh my gosh, because you watch that show, right? Love. love yeah, Big like religiously. But I don't think I ever... Yeah, no. I know Heidi and Spencer were talking to you about um, marriage boot camp. Yeah. Ever would do that or no? It's so funny. They like loved it. Yeah, they were uh, talking I've so heard highly. Nightmares of it. about being on that show. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe like, maybe when we actually are married mm -hmm. and are not as busy as we are, we right. think about it. But I don't know. Not right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Um, so never have I ever gotten annoyed at a bachelor producer. <laughs> so. Yes. I'm annoyed at one right now. Oh really? No. <laughs> No. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just built up from the past. Yeah, it just like fills you with rage yeah, still. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so never have I ever had a wardrobe malfunction on camera. Malfunction or like I purposely took off my bathing suit. Let's go with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went skinny dipping. Okay, on Chris's season. Oh, okay. Not real. They did. We were playing truth or dare, and they dared me to take off my bathing suit bottoms. But the mm. dock was so far out into the lake that I swam out there for so long, and I got up and they could barely see me. But I oh forget no. that cameras can zoom. But right. Okay. So was that aired? Yep. Oh great. I got a black box. Awesome. <laughs> Life goals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get a black box. Yeah. Um. So never have I ever had two guys fight over me. Or like. 20 guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yes. Did any of them ever, like, actually... Have you? Unfortunately, no. Um, I have not. Maybe one day, but I haven't been that lucky yet. future goals. <laughs> that is my future goals, yeah. <laughs> yeah it'll happen. Yeah, okay. Thank you. It's <laughs> really going down. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, never have I ever let the dog sleep in the bed. Oh, every night. Yeah, same. I have also done this. <laughs> I can't not. Mm -hmm. It's so cuddly. Doodle is adorable, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know who Doodle is. He's the cutest. I was just saying it earlier. I was like showing them. Like, look at this picture. Look at this picture. I'm like, it's like your kids. You like come, yeah, like exactly. take out of your wallet just yeah. like a million pictures. <laughs> He's the best. That's so cute. He's very cute. Um, okay, so never have I ever gotten drunk in the Bachelor Mansion. Never have I ever been sober in the <laughs> Bachelor Mansion. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, um, so the next one's kind of similar. Okay. Never have I ever gotten drunk on a group date or a one-on-one -on -one date or both. Now you're making me get drunk on my <laughs> blue mattress. First time for everything. <laughs> okay, never have I ever dropped the F-bomb on national television. That was my first line on national television. Yeah. Yeah. You're tricking me. I am. <laughs> You're trying to get me drunk. <laughs> so Let's do you regret do. that line? From no. No? You're just like owning it? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. I feel like that's where I am. That's why I am where I am today. No, I'm just kidding. Perfect. But no, I don't regret it. <laughs> awesome. I'm happy it that you hilarious. said it. I was it like, was the funniest thing ever. I was like, if this guy doesn't get my humor or think this is funny, I'm out. Yeah, it's like not even worth it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Joke. Come on. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so the last never have I ever question is I'm also guilty for never have I ever laughed at my own Snapchat. Did like, like five every little ago. every Snapchat I, just I did sent. Five ago. <laughs> what were you laughing at five minutes ago? Um, because I took a spin class <clears throat> and I had my makeup done from yesterday. I took a spin class. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I watched that. I had like <laughs> mascara all down my face and my eyelashes were like coming off. And I was yeah. just so sweaty and gross. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. Okay, so everyone, that is a wrap. Well, Thanks for coming to our slumber party, Caitlin. I'm ready to leave. I know. We still have so much wine left. Well, we can do that off. Yeah, yeah, totally. And thank you, Sleep Country Canada, for this super comfy blue mattress. Yes, you can go try. People always say because mm -hmm. it.
comes in a box, they're like, how do we know if it's comfortable? Yeah. But you can go to the store and test it out first oh. and then order it online. Good to know. Ship it for free. And they have, everyone has our word that it's super comfy. So. Yeah. And just believe us. Yeah. We're truthful. I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah. So thank you everyone for watching our slumber party. And don't forget to bookmark flare.com slash the morning after for all things Bachelor Nation. And we'll see you next time. Yay. Yay.